Hello, welcome to Tweet Town Late Night. It's about uh, two thirty in the morning on uh, January twenty second. It's been a long few days, but uh, today we're going to look at the Samsung eight forty. This is the non pro uh, Samsung's mainstream drive. At CES, we picked up a 250 gigabyte drive. It's still new in the box. I haven't even opened it yet. Um, one drive was given away, or will be given away, on Tweaktown, and this model is going to go through some endurance testing. Um, Samsung's 840 right now on the Samsung site is around $190 in the 250 gig capacity size. Um, this is the first retail SSD to use TLC NAN. Uh, that's triple level cell NAN. Um, let's open this drive up. Yes, my wife's going to kill me for using one of her steak knives. Get the drive in this package. It's a seven millimeter SSD. This is something we didn't get in the review model that we looked at a few months ago, but you now get a seven millimeter to nine and a half millimeter bracket. Mm, too bad it's not sticky, but anyhow, you get one. And I guess the reason why is because this is the kit model, so you also get a uh, two and a half to three and a half inch uh, form factor adapter, screws, SATA cable, which is always nice to get, and a USB to SATA um, adapter. The kit model is actually really nice. I wish they would have sent this to me the first time when I reviewed it. Uh, you also have software. Magician software, which we already have installed uh, from a previous test. Quick installation guide and warranty paperwork. And stickers. Always have to have stickers. Every SSD now comes with stickers. It's like 10 megabytes a second extra just for stickers. But this is what we're talking about today. Um, Samsung's 840 non-pro. Uh, this is the mainstream drive. Very low cost, well under a dollar a gig. Newegg is even cheaper than Samsung's website. Uh, unlike the 830, this mainstream model now ships in a metal case. It's not plastic. Very nice. You really can't even bend it. So. Um, the computer we're using, this was just pieced together today. Uh, I just had some parts laying around. <clears throat> we have an Intel i5 uh, 3330 processor, uh, 16 gig of Corsair memory, uh, running at 1866. We're using the onboard video inside the proc just to keep the power down because this system is going to be up for, oh, I don't know. We, we kind of suspect this drive is going to die in somewhere between 80 and 100, 100 days uh, in endurance testing. Let's hop swap this drive in. 
hopefully this old power supply does not uh, doesn't just shut off the system when we do this. Crossing fingers. <clears throat> All right. There we have the drive. Oh, let's see if I can s switch all this around real quick. So that the software sees the drive. Samsung's page. We'll come back to that. All right. Here we have the Samsung Magician software that was already brought up. We need to rescan for the drive. Let's just try this. Nope. Let's close it and we'll start it again. There we go. All right. All right, brand new drive. Uh, 840, we just plugged this in. Um, there is a new firmware we have right here. And uh, let's go ahead and update that. Browse. The reason why we're updating the firmware is because uh, we're gonna we want to run this drive straight through. We don't want any problems at all. The system should restart. Maybe. We'll go ahead and restart it anyhow. Oh, there it goes on its own. <clears throat> okay, so why this is going on? Um, we want to run the system for as long as we can without uh, shutting the system off, without rebooting. Um, we're going to write to the drive over and over and over, and we're going to run it till it dies pretty much. So, turn this back on. Let's bring you back over here. So, a project started at uh, the Extreme System Forums. Um, uh, maybe a little over a year ago <coughs> and let's pull this up real fast it was moved to extreme storage basically a bunch of guys went in and started murdering SSDs over and over Uh, the software they use uh, is Anvil Storage Utilities, and it has a murder your SSD mode called Endurance Mode. We're going to use this software to run through this TLC flash. Uh, there's been a lot of there's been a lot of questions about uh, the flash Samsung uses and what the program erase cycles are. Right? How many uh, how many PE cycles they rate the drive for and the number that's tossed around is a thousand PE cycles for TLC NAN and even I'm guilty of it and I shouldn't have done it but in the reviews everyone's saying around a thousand fifteen hundred PE cycles 
But the truth is, is that Samsung is not commented on the number of PE cycles at all. So, no one really knows. So here we're going to start Anvil. We have our drive installed, but it's not formatted. That was quick. All right. So we're just using the default settings for Anvil on this endurance test. And we're just gonna let it run. We're gonna let it run until it dies. Hopefully there's not a power outage or anything along those lines that uh, that makes this difficult. So we will uh, we'll get back to you and post some updates maybe once a week is what I'm hoping for. And We'll see how long this uh, this goes.